Hey everybody, how you doing? Out at the range today, this is about to be a really fun video. But today in this video, we are gonna be sighting in my brand new 300 wind mag. I just picked this up last week and literally last night in the middle of the night, I slapped on this Nikon Pro Staff P3 on it. Oh, there I go knocking off my bullets I stacked up. But I've already taken the bolt out, looked through the bore, and aligned the barrel to the scope the best that I could. And we are gonna sight it in, hopefully quickly in this video. So we'll be ready to go for more videos and for hunting this season. So 300 Win Mag, I didn't even tell you what it is. This is a Remington 770, which is pretty much a budget rifle. This may be the cheapest 300 Win Mag you can buy. Cheapest I could find. You guys requested it, I bought it. We also got a matching seven millimeter bag, so looking for that one too. But this video, that's what we're gonna do. Sight this rifle in and see how we can do with it. I have shot one exactly like this before with a different scope and just about scoped myself in the eyeball. So this scope has a little bit better eye relief and we have it in a vise here, but I'm gonna be careful not to bust my eye. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun. Who thinks we can sight it in with three bullets? I don't know, that may be a stretch, but should be pretty fun. Enough yapping, let's get to pulling some triggers, see what we can do and see how fast we can sight this rifle in. Once it's sighted in, we're gonna have a whole lot of fun with it, so stay tuned. All right, like I said, I've already got it bore sighted. I'm just gonna load these one at a time. This is the moment of truth where I always pray I don't shoot my GoPro that's down there right next to the target. I'm gonna aim dead center of that plate down there and let's see where she hits. Hopefully, pretty close to our bullseye there. 300 wind mag. Making sure my shoulder's in it here. I think I flinched there, but our shot hit a little bit low, but still pretty close I'm happy with that just more sighting come on bullet get out of there so we need to come where do we need to come up tell you what let's let's uh let's try to do it like you guys always complain that I don't do move the crosshairs to the bullet and then move the crosshairs or what are we doing now yeah we just moved the crosshairs to the bullet I think is what you guys are always telling me so let's try that. Make sure that this is back down to the crosshairs. Now without touching the rifle, I'm gonna try to adjust these down and left a little to the bullet hole. Well, that was the wrong way. And then now we gotta go down. All right now, so looking through the scope, crosshairs are exactly on the bullet hole. If we did any good with that first shot, then the second shot theoretically should be close to the center there. Now I need to adjust this vise to where we're back up to the uh, crosshairs. Now let's aim dead center of those crosshairs again. See where we hit. If it's any closer or further away to the bullseye. Well, it's definitely closer. We go. Uh, couple clicks to the left and shoot another one. I think I just clicked it five times, so let's see how this one does. Again, this isn't like a science lab experiment. I know I'm probably driving some of y'all crazy, but let's see how close this one hits to the crosshairs. Doesn't kick as hard as I remembered. One hit even further away. 
crank a bunch on that to the left there. Now we're getting crazy with it. You know, I hate wasting ammo. Man. I'm going to leave the up and down right there. Definitely not the lightest trigger on the 770, but we ought to still be able to shoot it. Well, now we're on the other side, so let's come back right a little bit. Somebody said, you're just a terrible shot. Well, that might be the case too, who knows? Get the, uh, get the front back to resting on the vise there. We kind of backed up a bit. Tighten it back down. All right, here. Hold dead center on this again. I think we got it right there. I know for a fact that that was dead on when I when the trigger broke. So right, I'm good with that. Come on, bullet. Look. Now we know this 300 wind mag is dead on. Let me get this brass out of here. And it took us four shots. No, oh, five. It took us five shots. Thanks for watching the video today guys. Now we know this 300 wind mag is dead on and yeah This baby's ready for deer or elk or whatever else we put in a video just for fun milk jugs, whatever But you guys let me know what you want to see us do with this rifle If I didn't say it that ammo we were shooting is Winchester Super X 180 grain power points, so Pretty common ammo you can pick it up just about anywhere I normally in the videos try to shoot something that you might have a good chance of picking up but Nikon Pro Staff P3 on top stayed on we were able to adjust it real easy and yeah Remington 770 real cheap rifle but I think it's gonna do us pretty good showed up good for us here today as always a big thanks to my friends at Heavy Metal. Y'all go check them out and subscribe to their channels. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie Hoo!